TikTok's where it's at, boys. Mm-hmm. It's the future. Mm-hmm. God, I was I'm sitting on the train going from a, a EWR to New York City. So like you, you, there's, you get on a little trolley and it takes you over to like a, I don't know, some train station in Jersey. And then you go through like the, you get on the train, you go from like, you know, Penn Station, Jersey to Penn Station, New York. New York, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I was listening to these like young 20-somethings. And like we pulled into the station in, in uh, Penn Station, New York City. And she was just going off on like how... She made a comment about like someone, so and so is a god, and they didn't respond. They didn't like my comment and everything. And I was so mad at her. I didn't want to see her at this party the next day. <laughs> I was like, "What the what? This is yeah." I was, did I was telling you about this. Yeah, yeah. Like this other, like the other, the other, the guy. It was a guy and a girl. And I was just like, "Oh, these people are stupid." <laughs> um, because we're we are literally leaving Penn Station, Jersey, and. <clears throat> He's like, oh, that's so sad. And I'm like, okay, what's sad? I'm, like, I'm starting to like look around because I'm right behind him. I'm like, okay, what is it? <laughs> You're it, creeping? Like, You're uh, creeping on strangers I was on the train? Like, I was sitting, well, I wouldn't have creeped. I wouldn't have listened. But she made some like stupid comment that I'm just like, you have never lived outside of your shell. Yeah. Like it was just like, you, you are too young and dumb to have a clue what's going on. Um, but this guy was like, oh, it's so sad. That poor little duck. And I'm like, <laughs> I- I'm looking like for a dead duck. Yeah. It's literally a duck in mud because it's lower tide, right? Oh. In this river. And he's like, oh, that poor duck. It's just walking like around in the mud. Something? Yeah. And I'm just like, it's a duck. Yeah. It's in mud. It is in its natural habitat right now. <laughs> It's low tide, and it's just like, you're an idiot. And so I just got sucked into, like, their stupid conversation. See? And, now you're and, in the war. Now you're in it. But then, I yeah, I had you're to hear like, this it. whole, like, oh, like, I, I called her a god or goddess or whatever, and she didn't reply, and I was just so, it's like, wow. Like, wow. Okay. Yeah. I was just, I don't know. Well, I'm going to rate this as uh, number two intro of all time. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even said a word yet. Yeah, yeah. I know. Oh. That's amazing. why it's number two. It could be number one if you chimed in with your own weird social media story. Right. Yeah, okay. but he likes okay. social media. And you like social media. No, he doesn't. I don't, I don't like he it. He doesn't like social media. He does I it. don't. It's just a necessary evil. It is a necessary. It's, yeah, I just don't do it. Well, it's because it's not necessary for your job or, no. or your business. No, they want you to do more on side. LinkedIn, like posting on LinkedIn. I'm just like, oh, God. Well, your, your company does? Oh yeah, like uh, we. That's easy. We rebranded. How many? Uh, uh, like, how, like if you even like one post a month, would that keep them happy? Don't care. I'm not doing it. I'm just asking. I don't know. Like they, they, they made a comment of like, hey, we're re- rebranding this. Hold on, Josh. Josh Anonymous, not a team player. Does don't care. not use the company LinkedIn. No, I, I don't get any of that stuff. But like, <laughs> they, they pushed out something like, hey, we have, uh, you know, we're. we're 30,000 employees strong. Oh, they, push they, out they, on, they want you push to push it out on, me, out. on, oh, on okay. media. I'm just like, yeah. no. 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 Not, not doing anything. And I'm sure they don't monitor it. They don't care, right? No, no. If you if there's certain things that you do that you can, you have to then push through. We'll give a whole, like, social media arm. Oh, oh that, you have to, like, Yeah, you have get to get certain things approved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just like, nope. Just, I, I've even asked people, like, hey, can you blog or whatever? I'm like, no. Yeah, but why, this is really good. Can you blog this? No. <laughs> no. You can put your name on. I don't care. Yeah, you know what's you know what's weird? Like, totally off topic, but but like growing up in the internet age and like going through like the blogging, the vlogging, right? The, the social medias, and like you stayed in like this one vein and did not like grow with the rest of the, the like architecture or infrastructure of the internet of like where the popular thing went no he went so directly like, to get off my lawn yeah yeah exactly he went from like like bo- like bbs boards to like no <laughs> he, he, he went straight to like 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 did you ever like like uh do myspace or mm-hmm. um read other people's blogs or get on forums yeah i'm okay. on forums, forums all the time i'm okay. still on forums all right like forums are okay because like i can go to like a could you make a forum post on it would that be a better word to say it than a blog no i don't want to <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I still do forms. My Reddit is basically in form format. 
So, like, when you open up a Reddit account, yeah, yeah, yeah. they put you in, like, a hundred garbage. Not anymore, though. Oh, no, there are some default subs, actually. Reddit is pretty much wow. garbage. And so you have to, like, prune no, it. It's not. So that it's only, like, some tech stuff that I'm interested in. Yeah. And barbecue. Like, smoking. Smoking, yeah. Smoking yeah. meats. Smoking good, yeah. Like, that's, that is my Reddit. That one is good, yeah. And, and like, some automotive stuff. But, like, it's got to be super specific. Yeah. Or our it, slash our politics will get in. You're it, like, oh my god, no! It's it's a buffet, <laughs> and you just got to choose what you like out of it. Yeah, there, there's yeah. a very very small. But that is true. When you do when you do, I think first sign up for an account, they're like, here's 27 things on your plate. Enjoy it. And then if you don't say no to them, right. you just keep down. And that if, road. Yeah, you've got to go like, you want an option that says, hey, don't sign me into anything. Like, make my welcome to Reddit page blank, be blank. Yeah. And then, like, go find stuff that you want. I'm wondering how many subreddits I'm, I'm actually subscribed to. I have, I don't know. I don't think it gives you, like, a total. Yeah, it does. Know, while you look that up, I'm going to do the little intro since we passed our music. Okay. <sighs> so, my name is Paul Procise. We've got Anson Young and Josh not on Twitter. You can find Anson at Young Anson on uh, yeah, Instagram. Anson, yeah, that's me. Josh, you can find him at Old, Gr- old, grunky, old Grumpy 15. Bastard. I got 15 top sub- show. subreddits. And even then, I could probably prune a few. I think I have one. I don't know how Jim, to get I, to that on the new you hit your home. of the app. So hit your home. Oh, down there, yeah. Yeah. Or, or no, this part, the little the hamburger menu on the left side. Left side. I think mine is Shib Army. That's the only one I belong to. I just got, I got yeah. so tired of it and all the pings and just, I was just annoyed with it. So I, I, I look at Shib Army and that was it. Oh, no, I have a lot. Yes, I have a lot. <laughs> there are he more scrolled than scrolled like five pages there. Oh, okay. more, yeah, oh have, my gosh. That's have, oh, <laughs> holy no. See, that, that's a that's a hellhole of Reddit. Nice. So, like, no, I, I've got a couple things, but, like, it, it's tech-based. So, like, I've got, like, you know, yeah. CPU, GPU stuff that I want to know about from, like, AMD. Um, <laughs> like, networking stuff. Yeah, sure. Like, based on what, stuff that I do, stuff that I use. Yeah. Um, you want? I want to know um, my grill. Like, Can I make a Reddit post about this? No, dang it! I don't want. I don't tend to post even like I'll read comments or anything. I, sometimes, like I'll, I'll yeah. make comments. I do more on like forums. I don't even upvote or downvote. I, like, I don't. I don't do any of that bull crap. I just. I just read a few things. Some and I'm of the off. some of the things that like yeah, I felt like old man around here. Uh, there are certain things that I will upvote just to upvote it. Sure, because so many people have downvoted it. <laughs> You're the contrarian. I have one, I have one karma. I don't know if that's good or bad. That's the, that's what is karma? Yeah. Karma is like how many upvotes you've gotten. Uh, and a thousand seventy five, and then your karma can go one. can go down. That means I've that means I think I've upvoted one thing. No, no, no. Somebody's upvoted you. Oh, I oh, know that's possible. Or, or maybe you start with one actually. Because I've never commented on Reddit. You not mean, once ever. You mean there's like a, over a thousand people that have upvoted something I've said? Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, I have. 27,000 karma. Yeah. What's your... What? What? Jesus. Yeah, 27,000. Um, how many years? 10. 10? Yeah, I, I, I made it. I'm good at 8. Years. Yeah. I don't know. It, it replaced all the forums that I ever went on because everybody just basically went went over to Reddit. It's just a one-stop shop for forum. There is. I, I will... Um, I'll agree on that. Like I said, I, I've been more on forums lately. Okay. Just because, well... That's because you're like... Social media. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. speaking of technology, Paul, yeah. what are we doing? Yeah, we don't know. We're doing a magic spinning wheel today. Yeah, yeah but with, we don't. We have no idea what the topics are that's with okay. technology. He I'm, told me the topics, and I don't remember what they are. So, did yeah. you tell us me the, the topics? Same. No, we're in the same boat. Uh, I mean, right. you could have added to the topics, but you didn't ask. You don't. You weren't in the room. You didn't ask. Oh, I was probably on the can. Yeah. You were okay. Taking a deuce. Oof! Wow. So, okay. A so lot happens when have. you're sitting around. Now, are you going to name them or should we just spin it? Should say, I just spin it and tell you I guys what? Uh, what, what? What are the rules? Two out of three? It depends on what, what we get because one might be a lot. All right. So, we're doing uh, random uh, random topic. Random topic. Should, yeah, yeah. I, should I name them off or it's just spin and we get it? Yeah. What do you want to do? Uh, do you think it's better to name them? So we I think it's the better options? to name them okay. so everyone else goes, oh, I wish they had all. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, if if you guys want to add things to our random spinning wheel, then you can go to our Discord or let us know on the Facebook and random social spinning wheel at and stuff. Top three dot show. There you go. The wheel of random. Wheel of random. All right, so we have eighties commercials. Okay. Okay. Nineties action movies. 
Okay. A- 80s console games. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. We haven't. We've done our like our first one done. So that's okay. um, 90s console games. Yes. 90s clothing trends. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and then dad jokes. Nah, boo. That's what we got. So we're just spinning once, and then we're going to be like, well, off, we can, off I mean, if we, if we think one will cover, I mean, we can do more than one. Anyway. Oh, okay, yeah. That makes sense. Or, I mean, we're 11 minutes in, so we better go. Yeah, we talked about Reddit for I don't know how long. Right? Well, that's okay. <laughs> Everybody loves Reddit. Here we go. Excuse me. Spinning, 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 spinning. What do we got? 90s clothing trend. Ah, that's really loud. Yes, that was loud. that was really loud. My ears. Nineties really clothing loud. trends. Oof. Oh boy, this is going to be a, sh- a crap show. We can add that uh, and another one. Uh, we do two. We well, let's let's one? get through this one and then okay. we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see where we're at. Because we could just be like, it sucked. <laughs> Ninety, yeah, nineties. I mean, it was, was an interesting time. It was because you're obviously coming right out of the eighties, so you have the early nineties. The stuff early nineties were influenced like, by the eighties. So we had the stupid All commercial. Right, your Barbizon was mine. showing. Yeah, do you remember that Barbizon yeah. showing? It was like what early. Is a Barbizon? It was like the sto- store. It was like in like Buckingham. Uh, or at the yeah, I, I remember the store. But and like there was like some was. stupid commercial. It was like, oh, your Barbizon showing. You're like, oh no, you're like what the hell? <laughs> Grabby clothes. Wow. All right, I know what mine is. I know what mine is. Yeah, Jenkos. No, no. So are we just gonna go like what my sure mem or like what I did? did? Sure. Uh, <laughs> what, what 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 my memory is? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. All right. So nineties. Let's see. This would have been about sixth grade to, I guess, early what twenties, twenty two, something like that. So like twelve to twenty two. So there's okay. like a big range in the night. No, yeah. no, not not the nineties. Sorry. Um, yeah, how old were you in the nineties? No, no, that might be right. 80, 79, 89. Yeah. So I was I was eleven when the nineties hit, and then I would have been twenty one yeah. when they were over. So there's a lot of stuff that happened in there, guys. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Um, one thing that I do remember though was uh, sixth grade. <laughs> so this is gonna be early nineties, yeah. right? Um, sixth grade, I uh, I rolled up to school, and um, I had begged and begged and begged and begged my parents to to buy me a pair of Air Jordans. Yeah, and somehow for some stupid reason they bought me a pair. Mm-hmm. Um, this is to be Jordan fours, and I haven't owned a pair of Jordan since. Um, but Jordan fours. And I was I wore those like into the ground. I mean, they <laughs> were like held together with scotch tape at the end, basically. And so, um, so I, I I rolled into like a new middle school mm. wearing Jordan fours, and then somebody taught me at middle school to roll my jeans. Yeah. Oh. And so I had like light acid wash wash jeans rolled up with Jordan fours, nice. and I don't think. I think I peaked right then. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was just over. Like, I haven't been that cool since. But, like, rolled up jeans only lasted, like, for me at least, till maybe seventh grade. Sure. And then nobody was doing it anymore. Yeah. But, like, we but I would, I would say, like, right before jeans, that. I think we used yeah. to say that. Tagging, yeah, tagging, yeah. <laughs> we would. Uh, They're back. That trend is back. We it is. Be, it is. What? Like, rolling, rolling jeans. Rolling yeah. jeans, yeah. We were doing it the other day at the at this. We were like waiting for dinner, and, and so I like rolled up my son's jeans and I rolled up mine, and my wife basically like died in the bush or something. Why? <laughs> out of Why embarrassment. Would you do that. <laughs> <laughs> we we like try to do everything we can to embarrass Stacy in public, and it's it's Good. like the it's Good the best call. fun I've ever had. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, we were I mean we were listening to you know Vanilla Ice some mc hammer mm. uh i still had some like metal bands that my brother was listen listen to that i listened to so it's just like this time of like i don't know like what is what is what is happening and i'm sure the adults then were just like what is this <laughs> garbage just like we are now looking at these kids like, what the hell are you doing bring it back 90s i kids. can't well yeah i can't think of like a rolled jeans thing that the kids are doing now yeah. that i shake my head at I get it. Like, I'm like, okay, I was there. I've done I, I get to like, I get, you know, I pick up my son at middle school, his middle school. So it's like full circle. And I see all these kids come out and they're just like hoodies and shorts and, you know, hoodies and jeans. And there's nothing like 
there's no there's no parachute pants. Yeah. There's no like something like that. Sure. <laughs> so we either live in a boring neighborhood or that's it. But yeah, so mine's gonna be Jordan's and rolled up acid wash jeans, which I think is like quintessential early eighties while bumping some vanilla ice. Nice. Yeah. Early nineties, Jimmy. Yeah. I could have gone late nineties. There's there's oh so much gosh, material totally. to, to to draw from. You here, got your so. grunge flannel phase. Oh yeah. I did that. That's mid nineties right there. Yeah. I did that eighth grade, yeah. Um, who's next? <laughs> yeah. How about you, Josh? <laughs> yeah, Josh, you were looking up a bunch of stuff over there. Uh, I was looking up like things that I remember. Yeah. Like the Reebok pump basketball yeah, shoes. Yeah, I had those. Had those. Um, I, had foot, those. I had foot pump football cleats. Nice. <gasps> that's that's pretty fancy. Yeah. Um, the did the pump actually work? Yeah. Like it actually like yeah. It has a black. I mean, they, I, I had ones that you actually did it like a CO two cartridge in. When I was what? really into football. Yeah. Jeez, fancy guy. Too man. fancy. Um, I know. Uh, no, even a Reebok had when they're doing skates. Um, they had pump. Skates, what uh, hockey, hockey that, skates? Yeah, even that. The, they, those are maybe seven years away that they were doing them, huh? So wow, um, I want them, but the Reebok made a too skinny of a skate for me, huh? So um, you need those. No, I was looking up like uh, MC Hammer parachute pants. Yeah, you had to remember those. Um, what did you wear? Like, what what what's your like number one thing that you're like? This is the quintessential '90s. Clothing trend that Josh knew. Josh guy. I did flannel. Had a shitty haircut. Um, nice. Big round glasses. Yeah. Uh, uh, what was the other thing I was looking up? Oh, um, well, this was late nineties. Yeah. Fashion ish. Had a pager. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Look out. I would. Okay. Look out. Explain the pager. To your kid one day and just watch their mind just go what? But what do you mean they didn't just call you? Literally, <laughs> I was like like two days ago I was explaining this concept to my son and I was like yeah they paged you and it just had a number and then you would have to go find a phone to call them back and he's like find like like a cell phone like no 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 like a pay phone an office phone yeah. a neighbor's phone hey can I borrow your phone at the gas station like. <laughs> Hey, you ain't gonna borrow a phone. Um, so you got to ask your son. Okay. If you're going to make a sign, okay, you're gonna call someone. How do you do it? Make a sign. Like if you if you're going to, how would you? Oh, like call me back. Yeah. yeah. So uh, how okay. would you do it within your hands? Oh, with your oh, with your hands. Yeah. Okay. Like if you're gonna say, "Hey, call me yes. back." Like, yeah. Okay. Like you like this, yeah, right? Yeah, and we're I doing that's, that's thumb, old. thumb to thumb and pinky, thumb out, and pinky up to the yeah, ear, like a handset. Right? Apparently, and like Wendy showed this to me. Like someone was saying, like kids now, they do, do like, this, like oh, like yeah, like okay. just like flat hand. Huh. And I was like, that's so stupid. Uh, I guess like, yeah, but it's like no, like it's been a banana for years. Yeah, like yeah. Why? the banana like, phone, a clenched hand. Would yeah, yeah, I would say yeah, like, they do like this. They, like, apparently they they weird. or if you look at a phone. Like, like this is how you look at it. Yeah. Weird. Like, you know, we would be like, oh, like, oh, you look at something, right? But apparently, like, like a flat palm is the would sign. Be, Interesting. I, I uh, will add. I'll, I'll, I'll ask. I, I don't know. Like, and like I told her, like, it's, it's stupid social media crap that she pulled it up. So I was like, who cares? It's stupid. Um, and here you are talking about it. Full well, no, because I was like, you have you have a, someone circle. that would probably yeah, understand or, or maybe make a, I don't know. Does he have a phone? He does, yeah. Okay. I'll ask Gabe. So, yeah, do you, yeah. yeah be, um, have you explained a pager to Gabe? Mm-hmm. I mean, he knows what it is, I'm sure. But oh. Yeah, he understands it. Yeah, pagers are... I live that stuff. Yeah. I had I had one for like maybe a year or two before I got my first cell phone. Yeah, I never the, had the, one. the kids who I had, had cell it, phones and pagers. The kids who had cell... Like, who, the kids who had pagers in high school, all drug dealers. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wasn't. Especially a, where you grew up. <laughs> I mean, I like there was no reason that anybody should need to get a hold of you was kind of the no. like the consensus. So if somebody's pagers like going off in class, like that was getting confiscated immediately. Yeah, if we didn't if we weren't home for dinner around five thirty or six, then my mom would get worried. Yeah. But before that it was just I was just free for all. Yeah. 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 Weird. 
So yeah. I so mean, yeah. So you like having the pager? I think that that was a fashion trend. Like yeah. you would have different cases. And yeah, I had, a, I had a, like a neon types. yellow or green or. Yeah. And it, and if you had like the actual like text service or the or like the voicemail, like like somebody could leave right. a voicemail right. and it would text you. Nah, the I had the, the, the straight like uh, my first one was just like the straight top. Yeah, you could just read it. Um, oh, the top then, one. Okay. Yeah. yeah then then I had a. I had a side. One. I had another one you could read the side, and yeah. then I had fancy. a huge know, right? like. When I started my first uh, big gig uh, yeah. working, um, I had a big, like, humongous one, but it was like a five, six line because it was it was information on you, basically where I had to go. Where could you page it, it back? There was a way to go through, but it, did, it didn't matter because it was an automated system. Oh, okay, so I just okay. like, okay, I need to go, and like, I had to go pick up parts here. I knew where to go, knew the contact name, contact number. Interesting. Um, yeah. All that, but then I yeah. used my big candy bar phone. Candy, Candy bar. Interesting. So, so yours is going to be <clears throat> pagers. Sure, all that crap. Well, all right. the other thing yeah. It was like parachute pants. Like it, The problem yeah. is like it spanned because... Yeah, it's a lot of years. It's it was well, a lot had, of years. I had the... Yeah. Uh, like, we did the grunge. I had the <coughs> flannel and yeah, I did it was too. warm. Yeah. and yep. Listen to Nirvana. Of course. A lot. Duh. Yeah. Um, and like, we had the... I remember the, the Stoner pumps. phase. Yeah. yeah. Pumps and the MC Hammer pants. That's what first came to mind. Yeah. Uh, and then as you got later on in life, it was. Yeah, the 90s was from 10 years old to 20 years old for us. So that yeah. that spans elementary school all the way that to is, adulthood. That's such adulthood. a huge span. It's just a massive change. Yeah. So I, I went through, I mean, thinking about it, fashion trends. Like there yeah. wasn't anything that I didn't try and yeah. fail at. Yeah, I remember at one point in time I had oh. a rat tail. I don't wow. know. I don't oh, know. Early, early, early 90s. I, yeah. had, I had the it was bowl like cut. falling out, like getting out of the 80s trends. But I, I yeah. remember that. And my cousins, uh, we had a bunch of girl cousins. And they, um, I was getting my hair cut. And they're like, oh, we should do a rat tail in your head. I'm like, huh? Oh, so, well, that sounds like a good idea. Right, you know, yeah, so right. I tried that for a minute. But, um, you know, like fashion trends. Remember hyper color shirts? Oh, yeah. Oh, were you touched? Yeah, change? Yeah. Change? Yeah. Oh, hell cool. yeah. I loved those. Those, those That was cool. something I begged for. Yeah, I that, loved that, those. That. There's a picture of you me. You just wanted to be touched. Yes. Oh. Um, <laughs> there was a pic, I have a picture I of me in, loved. in parachute pants yeah. in hypercolor shirt. Yeah. Hey. And a crazy like tie-dye looking hat. Yes. Yeah. And just I, a, I think just I had ball. George. I think I actually had. No, I had Reeboks or Asics or something like that. Yeah, yeah, BKs. Yeah. Like nothing made sense in the color years. scheme or pattern scheme. Everything was completely different. Yeah, but it was that's like oh, yeah. early. It 90s. worked. Well, I had the parachute it pants. pants. It was. Yeah, I had the, the multicolor, the bright ass yeah. uh, parachute pants had like and all the, that. The, yeah, like the clothes, like it, like the Velcro. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like both ways. It was like zoop. yep. Yeah. Um, I had the bad haircut, the the bowl haircut, where I was basically <laughs> shaved. Yeah, all the way up to here, but like my hair was longer. Yep. Like, yeah, like oh, it was just so bad. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So much bad going on in there. There was, and it, and I think that, that like, I, I, I think you're right. Like, we, like, yeah, we we we, tr- we well, tried everything. Chasing girls. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't chasing girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had the I same was, one forever. Yeah, yeah. That was That's my right. problem. That was your problem. <laughs> yeah, we did. Wow. Yeah, like I totally burped. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was all, it was all that Pepsi. Uh, but yeah, we we tried like at one of everything. Like it feel like, totally. like I started the '90s listening to to uh, Vanilla Ice, and I think I ended the the '90s, you know, listening to new metal or something. Like, oh yeah, I went through the whole coffee house phase of the grunge style. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I try to do you know I have I well, still have tons of flannel yeah. type type and shirts and yeah. stuff. Stoner um, phase, had a stoner phase, had yeah, a goth I, phase. I went through a, a make everybody around me pissed off phase where yeah. I just shaved my head and had lamb chops. I don't know if you remember this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I had also had um, a bunch of earrings in my head. In yeah, my yeah, yeah. Gross. No, I never did so that. So I, I talked about it, I think, on here before, but yeah. I had a, an elder at our church that told me that I wasn't, I could no longer be a Christian because I had an earring in my ear. It is true, yeah. So I went out the next week and got... More, more? Yeah. Yeah. more earrings. Yeah, you're not gonna pierce me. Like, oh, we're gonna give you an earring. What I are you wanted, gonna do? I wanted an earring when I was. I remember it because I was around ten years old. And so was, did I. Until really I figured out cool, what happens. And I was like, there, nope. There was this really cool guy that had like a perm, and a, <laughs> <laughs> it was the eighties. I just remember yeah. it was like no 80s, one ever eighties nineties. That was cool. It's the coolest he guy drew, ever. He drew a tr- drove a Trans Am and he had an earring. Yeah, and I just thought that was the peak of coolness. 
Dude. And uh, I'm yeah. sure he was like 16 years old, you know? Yes. But in, yes, in yes. my yo- young youth, I was like, you're looking up to him like, oh, he is so, so mature cool. and cool. Yeah. I want an earring just like that. So I told my mom at that age, and she's like, when you turn 16, you can have an earring. And a perm. Yeah. So <laughs> I got, when I got to 16, I had committed myself that I'm going to get got an earring. earring. I got yeah. an earring. And then um, she's like, you can't get any more earrings until you're 18. And yeah. then that one individual uh, guy at church. So I, I was really mad. I went home and told my mom, she's you like, name and shame. She's like, okay. yeah, he's dead now. Um, but he, that's, that's right. not cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I'll tell you afterwards. You'll, okay. you'll remember him. Yeah. Um, but he, uh, but mom's like, yeah, just go out and, because she was kind of the yeah. rebel kind of too, yeah. and I, I went out and got more yeah. earrings. I I did have a lot of earrings in the nineties. That's, that's when I was sure. chasing bands yeah. like POD around yeah. town. And mm-hmm. I think I had a tongue ring in the nineties. Yeah, uh, yeah, because de- I definitely had <laughs> it out. I remember when you did that because Jeremy Kirsten did that too. Yeah, he had other things pierced too. That's true. Yeah, uh, down below, down south. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, no. But yeah, I think by the time the nineties were over, I think I had. I think I was just tired of my tongue ring so i took it out um but yeah like earrings i i went to college i I went to one year of college (laughs) yeah i had i I started giving up never did the college i started a tech job technically i did i was in a band at the end of the 90s i've done all of that too i mean it was yeah we worked at the same company did at different times yeah you when you were doing your tech stuff and then i came in a little bit later and did sales at that same company yeah yeah yeah. brian oh yeah Mm -mm. Yeah, I wanted, oh, a, I wanted yeah. an earring until, yeah, I, until I figured later, out yeah. what, what they were going to do. And then I said, no, we're not like, doing that. We're going to put a needle through your ear. We're going to fire a needle through your ear. It's going to, yeah, take it. No, I was like, nope, I'm good. No, I don't like, <laughs> I, I kind of stay away from pain. My youngest daughter's asking for earrings. Yeah. We told her when she was five, which is in a few months. Oh, so. okay. uh, we've asked, we've asked Clement time, but I'm like, I, I can't tag her because I'm going to freaking puke. Do your other, it's do so your other simple. kids have earrings? Yeah, Grace has an Does earring. She, yeah. So Gabe doesn't. He doesn't care. He, he thinks it's stupid. Yeah. He thinks it's stupid that I had earrings. Huh. Well, he's not wrong there. No, it was completely. Did I you did, it was 100% him? just because I wanted to rebel. No, dude. They were cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nope. Didn't do it. I, I mean, I'm not compelled in any way now to no. get an earring. But I do see some adults like, you know, like a guy who's in his 50s and he has like a, you know, an earring from the 80s or something. And I just, I don't don't think much about it. I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah. Like that guy's doing his thing. Sweet. You know, Mm-mm. I don't know. I'm yeah, not going to judge him. Yeah. I'm just like, now, if like he had like a choker and he's <laughs> wearing like fishnets and he's got his <laughs> tongue pierced and he's got his like lines in his eyebrow. Like, right, of, right, like right. where there's. Oh. You know. Or steps in his head. Remember yeah. That then I right? might judge him very harshly. A flat top and then with we'll, steps. And then we'll go get a beer. Uh, but you know what's back? The mullet's back. It is. Oh. It's such a the weird kids, trend. The kid, like maybe the, I don't know. I, I we, see it, you see it in hockey players. Yeah. Like they always want the lettuce, the hockey hair. Yeah, yeah the lettuce. And it's like, oh god, why do you? No. But I'm seeing it like in, like like it, at my networking group. I'm having like late twenties guys showing up, and they have a suit on because they the came stash. from. Yeah, they yeah they came from you Trim know stash. work. They have a stash and they have a mullet, and I just go. I can't get on board. I mean, physically can't get on board because my hair doesn't grow. And then you just don't talk to them. Yeah. I mean, one of them is super cool. He actually works at the Mammoth and uh, hooked us up. But uh, but Mammoth is hockey adjacent, right? He he needs to have hockey hair if sure. he works for Cronky, right? I mean. Yeah, like, yeah, lacrosse. We're talking about lacrosse. If you lacrosse, don't know yeah, means. yeah. Um, so. Indoor. Indoor lacrosse, yeah. Which um, is better than outdoor. Oh, big time. Oh, big time. Ah, that's debatable. No, no. The, the indoor game is fantastic. Yeah, it is fast. So do we want to spin again or do we want to keep... Because this is pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. I'm make? actually shocked. I, I I mean, I don't want to think about the 90s. They were bad. <laughs> do, you, are we, do you want to rate them? Are we going to rate these things? Or are we just going to talk Ooh. about them? Well, we have to rate. Yeah. Top three things that we talked We talked about the uh, parachute pants and pagers from Josh. Yeah. We talked about the... Uh, rat tail. I, I talked about a lot. Rat tail. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. No, no, no. That's not. That can't be it. Hypercolor. Yeah, no. Somebody did say Jinkos. I did. I never owned an official I never, pair of I, never yeah, I, I had some baggy pants. Yeah, but I, I had some, did. like, knockoffs. Yeah. yeah. Jinkos, because um, they were, like, 100 bucks at least. Yeah. yeah. They're stupid. 
Well, and that's I, because I, there's like 85 feet of material. Yeah, yes. I remember yes, one yes, guy yes. that knew, I knew that he had them. And I'm like, where did you get those? He goes, oh, I just stole them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> From the Aurora sense. Mall. Yeah. Or a town hall, town shit. Town center. Town center? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yes. You had said uh, the hypercolor, hypercolor, and, uh, which is pretty cool. Overalls. Did you guys own some overalls? I, would, I did. Oh, you had to, you had one, on, one, one on, off. one on, one off. Yeah, yep. yeah. We did that. Sometimes uh, you would cross it, like crisscross the Mac, Mac no, Daddy make you. No, I had jump, some. jump. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. No, my my girlfriend uh, in the nineties had had a uh, uh, those bib things. overalls, jump, jumpers. yeah, yeah, yeah. A jumper? jumpers, jean, jean, yeah, jean, uh, overall jean overalls, yeah, oh, yeah, whatever they are. I don't know. I still remember those. Yeah. I had a pair of jean overalls. Yeah. I, I like begged for those and then I got them and I like I like wore them and I was like, I feel stupid. <laughs> but my parents were like, You're gonna wear those. Yeah. You or, you're have to wear those. Uh Geeling and I. Yeah. I I don't know if you were involved, but I know Geeling and I. And maybe Petey. Yeah. Um God, we did uh No, don't talk about that. I think I know what you're gonna say. No, what? no, no, never mind, never mind. Different story. Okay. I think Aaron, Aaron Steele was involved in that oh, other story. <laughs> oh, the video. We made a video. Uh, oh, yeah. Film it, was, class. it was the lip sync. No, never mind. Oh, um, lip sync. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was so 90s. DC Talk lip sync. Oh, yeah. geez. Um, no, I was going to say, uh, I know Eric and I, we did a lot of Goodwill okay. clothes yeah. shopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had, like, my favorite pair of brown corduroy pants dude zip, 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 zip. oh god it's just a bad you wear them all the time oh, i wear them all the damn you know, time okay so my favorite goodwill pickup was an air it was a short sleeve air force shirt and i wore that like all the time really because uh, it was just like like nobody had like that it was kind of like a punky like thing to do I there, don't know. there was like a year of like yeah like corduroys were like <laughs> were a very very big staple in in the uh in the lineup. they were trendy for a while like they everything were. was corduroy yeah, yeah, yeah. just yeah. i just remember when you walk in <laughs> i had some that i wore enough that like the inside of my legs yep. oh no to wear they, off. They, wear off a they weren't bit. corduroy anymore yeah, yeah. They're, they're just fat thighs <laughs> oh. um the the one thing that i still do that was started in the 90s and it's it's Going on today. Cargo shirts. No, that no. was seventies when I started. Oh, I do. No, I do do cargo. 60s. Uh, weird graphic tees, yeah. Gra- like weird tees. Was like I still 80s wear. Things? I still yeah, wear. So it was but I like. I, one of my favorite shirts was a Tide shirt. Um, I had this like bright yellow Tide shirt. They used to be right by um, uh, the Paramount Cafe downtown. Yeah. There used to be a weird shirt. Wax place. tracks. No, one of those places. No, it's right next to Paramount Cafe. There used to be like a T-shirt. Fashion place. Nation. Um, and you could buy like I, I'd go there and get like Tide shirts and like oh, yeah, soap yeah. shirts and you know I have back then like those were rare and now yeah. you can get He's good anything Walmart. printed on a shirt you can get and, anything printed on a shirt but I, it's still the one thing that like I still do and even my wife was like why do you have so many t-shirts like why <laughs> why are your t-shirts always weird yeah 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 like I've got that uh um and I wear I wear it on a plane a lot because it gets uh, the flight crew. They yeah. laugh, but I've got that one that's like, it looks like a, the little safety book. Yeah. But if you actually look oh, at it, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's got a guy and this like little kid and then there's a fire starting and, and the, the mask helmets, the masks fall out of the top. Yeah. And then it's got the guy climbing through the hole as the flames get bigger and he has like his foot pressed on the kid's face. It's like a story <laughs> shirt. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's like the safety shirt. Yeah. It's like, do this, then this, but then it's this. done in, yeah. it's done all in the, in the proper thing. Dude. Yeah. And I wear that. So all the time on flights because the flight crew, they love it. like, they like oh, it. they love it. And it's like, you know, you just, you're trying to get from point A to point B and not get kicked off or, or, you know, <laughs> security called or whatever. So Karen I've, yelling at you. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so like, I've worn that a lot just to get them. Cause when I'm with my kids, I'm just like, it's going to be a rough ride for everyone. Yes. You um, might as well make somebody. So I try like, yeah, try to like, Oh, okay. Oh, they're, they're good. And Oh yeah. You know, they find out, Oh yeah. He flies a lot, whatever. But I love that shirt. So I love like the weird shirts and that's what I tend to buy. Like I have a, I lost it and I was like, I need to get another one, but I have a, um, a little bar of soap and it's holding a bar of soap. And it just says, rub me on your butt. <laughs> huh. And I was like, I got to get, like, I had that shirt, and I love that shirt. Um, no, like, because I'm wearing a 
Yeah, uh, unicorn with a unicorn with backpack, a backpack. Rocket rainbow backpack. racket rocket pack. Yeah, but I mean, that's it's a big fat unicorn too. It is a big. Fat, it's just happy I bet unicorn. you its corduroys are all smooth in the middle. <laughs> mm. Yeah, definitely. Well, it has short legs. Creamy middle. Oh, that's right. I have short legs. Yeah, you See? Do. There you go. But uh, yeah, how are we gonna rate these? Oh gosh, who's going first? You are. Did I go first? Sure, you did. Did I? Oh, okay. Um, okay. So, considering I've probably done all of these things, besides the rat tail, I want to say. I <laughs> yeah, no, you the rat That tail. was short-lived. It only lasted for a week or so. So, rat like tail that. three. Uh, yeah. Um, rat tail never. Oh, yes, no, no. Yes. Hypercolor. Really yeah, hypercolor. I never owned a hypercolor shirt. Although, they were, like, super cool. They were awesome. They're expensive, I think. Yeah, they were. Probably. And they only worked for a little while, and then sure. they faded. Like, really? Oh, out, they, yeah. yeah, they you would didn't hand wash fade. it. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Um. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so we're going to do that for number three. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, it's all arbitrary, right? Yeah. Just, oh, it's just cool. randomly, like, spin the wheel, and I'll, that'll be my ranking. Well, the, uh, the rat tail would win for cringe factor. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it, I, I have seen rat tails in the wild, like, some little kids, like, running around with rat tails. And you just want to take a scissor. Just <laughs> I, just call, I just call child services on uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I just go, excuse me, officer. I'm at Walmart. This is a crime against humanity. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, Rat Tails, I guess, number three. Uh, Josh's thing, number two. <laughs> and what was uh, uh, it his, his well, was. But I covered the gambit of, like, you know, the yeah, parachute, parachute pants, pants and the pagers. Pagers, yeah. yeah. And we, we talked about, you know, the, yeah. the grungy. Pagers were cool. Like, like, you had a status, but they were, like, they're so inefficient and just, like, <laughs> Like you look back and you're like, that's dumb. <laughs> but uh, not if you had a code. If you knew the code, like yeah. you know, if, if like friends like, oh, you got this. You're like, like page, oh, okay, I need. To, I'm meeting someone. You page know, like I, a one eight seven, and you're like, oh, I gotta go. You gotta text you the get ran- it on a murder. You gotta page the rando person. Yeah, you're like, oh, I gotta meet. I gotta meet down at King Supers at five fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> I I, I, yeah, I would do that. I would uh, page random people and put in boobies. Of course, oh, yeah. yeah. I still eight do zero that. zero eight five. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah! And then uh, you know we'll do uh, rolled jeans and uh, Jordans is number one. Sweet for me. Jordans right. are still big though. They, they are. are huge. Yeah, my son got a pair of Jordans for Christmas, and uh, he like barely wears They're like them. Five five hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, I think it's funny, like wa- one fifty. Yeah. Watching kids walk around because they don't want to crease their shoes. Yeah, yeah. I so was they like, walk really weird. I was what? like, dude, Ducking. you're gonna, you're, they're gonna get dirty. They're gonna go outside eventually. What, what is this? They'll, they'll walk in a certain way so they don't crease the shoes because that devalues you, your you, shoes. You know when your foot like crunches when you walk, like it's it, called walking. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yep. But that puts like a crease in your shoe where sure. your toe box is. It's called walking. Yeah, and so the the kids. Or the sneakerheads or whoever, right. they don't like that at all. They don't like that look. They want like the fresh, clean, pristine, non look like you ever worn them before. So they shoes. watch. They'll watch walk pigeon toe. Yeah, they'll, they'll they'll like, like, it's so weird watching kids walk. walk around like that. Wes did like he did say something at the beginning because I just think he heard it from the sure. you know internet sphere. But now I mean he'll wear them to school and he doesn't care. He doesn't walk weird or anything like that. But. But he like he got another he got a pair of vans like he got a pair of white vans and then he wore them inside the house for like three weeks, <laughs> and I was like, "Are you gonna wear those to school, dude?" He's like, "Yeah, eventually. I just don't want him to get them dirty." And he knows that if he wears them outside, he can never wear them inside again. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so the other day he's like, he's like, "I think I'm gonna wear my vans outside." And I was like, it's "Big step, baby steps, buddy. Baby steps. Wait, so you're, 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 you're doing great." <laughs> okay, so you obviously don't wear shoes inside unless they've never been outside. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your shoes off and uh, yeah, I mean, at, the, well, at the door. You guys do we, the same thing. Yeah. So I mean, occasionally, I, I, I was walking around the house today with my shoes on. Yeah. Like, what the it's going weird. on here. Yeah. I was like, no, get, get off my feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways. And the kids obviously do, but no, it's... Kids are kids. All right, who's next? Me, I guess. Sure. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's, a lot of it's forgettable. Like, oh, God. But then you're like, oh, I lived it. And like, I, the right. chain, the, like the big chain and the padlock or like or the, the, the hemp, the hemp thing. <gasps> I did have hemp. I did have a hemp. Yeah. Necklace. Hemp necklace. Yes. I think, I think like a kid who listened to 311 gave it to me at yeah. school. <laughs> That's not surprising. Totally makes yeah. sense. Like, like all those preppy kids that got turned on to 311 were like, 
like potheads by the end of high school. Yeah. And like, yeah, they were like, they went from wearing polos to wearing like hemp necklaces. <laughs> they were just smokers. It's a good development. We had, at my school, at high school, we had a smokers corner where they would yeah. all, all the, te- it was, it was right really, off. it was such a weird thing. Like it was still allowed. These younger age, underage yeah. kids you would just, go out and smoke with the teachers. Mm-hmm. With the teachers? And it, it was not even like, wow. it was not even anything. I think by the time. My senior year, right at the end of my senior year, they're like, "Um, where huh. if you want to smoke, you have to go all across go the off street. school pr- property." That's yeah. where right. we had it. Ours was all, like no, right off school property. On, yeah, yeah, but it was like the shortest walk. Yes, ours was literally in this little cul-de-sac because it was safe and it was covered, like this little I don't know jetty thing, <laughs> where that, like the teachers would right go where there? the teachers were, and huh. it was still on on school campus. And then, yeah, like I said, my, uh, my senior year, they do like got rid do, of it. do 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 like high schools have like a smoking. Like not anymore. Like the, the kids. That, smoke no, they all things? vape. Because that's the big thing. That's a, I, I, I do know that, oh. that like um, my son was saying that he's gone into the school bathrooms and there's all yeah. these kids that are sitting there vaping. And oh, like, yeah. What the heck? That happens it's in so middle weird. school. Actually, Wes was telling us about that today. Oh, it's it's just uh, just vaping. I mean, there's occasionally you'll be. I've been in like uh, clients and they're just like. Yeah. And he's like, oh, dude, that's. You're gonna get Smells like cotton candy uh, in here. Yeah, you're gonna get popcorn lung. That's that's smart. Uh, just, I like popcorn. Yeah. You, you like want popcorn. that in your lungs, yeah. but I don't want it in my lungs. Oh, okay. Uh, were you rating something? Or yeah. What were we doing? <laughs> he's um, giving up. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't even care. Duh. I mean, it was all it was all an experience. It was fun. Nineties yeah. were amazing. So. It was. Yeah. yeah. I'm curious about the people listening. If what what your favorite. 90s things and what like what should come back like there's a bunch of stuff that's come back that we've already obviously already talked about that we're like hell no like rat rat tails yeah, and mullets and rolled jeans yeah. like, is any of this like salvageable i mean yeah. should yeah, jinkos I mean, come back <laughs> I, I mean the grunge grunge should. was good the grunge was cool yeah but like yeah flannel fl- shirts i guess flannels, I'll get flannels, flannels like when it's cold i mean there's yeah, people okay. there's people that still wear flannels and ripped jeans like i mean ripped rip jeans. jeans are like huge still, chains. people buy yeah like, we knew somebody was like, oh, you can only buy jeans with rips already in them. I was like, why would you buy? No. Like, I'm not going to buy a pair of jeans that got rips in them. Okay. I'm taking but, them back. But it's not cool. Yeah, uh-huh. you're uh Look at me. Don't hey, Grandpa. Care. No. Can you see him wearing ripped jeans with his unicorn shirt? Yeah. No. Said mixed messages over here. But only no, because he busted his ass out the, uh, at the back end. <laughs> Fat ass. True. Man. True yeah. details. <laughs> like, I wear the same shorts. Like, I, I've honestly, these same shorts, I've been buying like the same. Yeah. Yeah. Don't care. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, yeah. If you're listening and you have a favorite fashion trend. Josh, do you have, do you have any kind of ranking or you're kind of like ambivalent about it? They're all awesome is what he says. They are. Like, Hypercolor was my favorite. Yeah. Hypercolor was, was cool. cool. That was that cool. Was that was like a cool technology. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say that. Yeah. It was a cool technology. The, I don't know, like the whole pager thing really trained me. <laughs> um. But that was obviously in the, the 97, 98, 99, yeah, yeah, 2000s. Yeah, that makes sense. Huh? Um, later in high school and then like first job. like And I had to like I had to have it now because I was on call as well. Right. So it really trained me to the point now like like I don't like when you, you miss a phone call or something. You're like, okay, what, what's going on? What did I miss? What, you know? Yeah. Um, so those bad habits that have come from it that are still to me that's today. That's like, yeah, that's our old school Because habits, like it was, yeah. You, yeah. you had to, like, it, and there was a, a method, you had your pager and had a mobile and you had your uh, home line. Like when, when you're on call for that night, like those three things had to be there because pager would go off. You had X minutes to, phone, to, yeah. to react. So it was either grab your mobile, grab your other but then they would progress through <laughs> and if it got to your home line you were it, like, if it got to the home line it was bad somebody yeah uh, and, and there were times like and there were times where they would do a two-page system like especially for on call it was like you get your first one and there were times where i would wake up and my pager would be like on me because i looked at it <laughs> and fell back asleep and yeah. then it went off again and it's like what oh, oh i gotta go and like and it would say like you know page two of two of two and you're like uh-oh Oh crap! Now, now it's really hit the fan, and you've got to be dialing for dollars to answer. You know what was going on because right they gave you the first one like, "Hey, I'm I'm sorry to I'm sorry to wake you, but and now you have the second one says, "Why didn't you call us? <laughs> wake up!" Yeah. And the next one was well, you know, it would it would go up. 
Yeah. So it would go to your manager, and your, your manager would get woken, and then you're fine. Yeah. And it was just not good. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, those are like I liked those because. So you train. Tech. You're trained by technology. But I was. Tra- oh, I was definitely trained by technology <laughs> on that one. Big <laughs> time. Funny. But not social media. Not social media. By the way, social media. How did we find you on Inst- on, on the stuff? Uh, you can page me at I young, at Young Anson. I administrated some forms, like a motorcycle form. I probably still have access as administrator. Nice. So, like, I did a lot of form stuff. Yeah, and that was late two thousands. Josh, how do we get oh, early two thousand early? Nineties. That's nine zero S at top three show. Nice, I like it. You can find me at Paul Prosize anywhere. You can get a hold of us on any of our social medias. That's at top three dot show. Top three dot show. Yeah, it's T O P the number three S H O W. Yeah, or you can find our website, which is top three dot show. Yeah, and if you want to add more more random categories or Wheel-o. if you have any ideas, Wheelo, uh, email Josh. Yeah, yeah. email Josh or you jump in our Discord. Links below. Yeah, Links. Uh, ideas. Top three ideas. Show. Ideas. Random. <coughs> the random meter. Randos. Randos. Yes. Yeah. Nice. All right. All right. See you soon. Better. Yeah. Go. That's legit. legit. That's legit. That's legit. It legit. I'm legit going back to the crab. It legit. Like, I will legit. Like a legit. That was legit. Yeah.